Ari peeps, welcome to Timberborn. We're gonna start a new game with the folk tales here. We're gonna whoosh on Dune to the Valley of the Crimson Worm and start our hard mode adventure. I'm hoping this video will serve as a tutorial for the first five cycles using the early game to set your beaver colony up for success in the mid to late game using a strategy that negates this whole pesky bad tide mechanic. Now that does mean it's a risky strat, but high risk equals high reward and we are playing not only hard mode but a hard map as well the author makes well clear that it's not an easy breezy map and it has a special little quirk about it a unique feature if you will and we'll get into that but first what would we like to call our settlement and since we have the crimson worm looming over our heads we shall name this settlement Leviaville. Okay, pause. You've got to make sure you pause straight away on hard mode because every second is precious. The more beavers you have stood within one another, the better. That means you're paused real quick. The first thing I want to do is see where we can get some proper water pumpers on the gun. We've got a bit of a deep river on the gun. We've got to step down. And most of these spots here, we're not going to get the full use of our too deep straw. So. Let's have a look where we can make full use of that. We've got a spot here. We'll click that one. There's a spot here. Oh, and there's a one or two spots up here as well. So we're going to mark these areas for demolition. So I know I want those four. And I'm going to want a path going up to this water pump I got. So we'll do that over here. I know I'm going to be wanting these eight. But I'm also going to need a path as well. So we need to get rid of those blueberries. And just to avoid us having to rip up more blueberries than absolutely necessary. Let's get most of our path in here. And that way we know which berries we need to pick up. Now, just one or two water pump buzzers isn't going to cut it. So I am going to get ye placed. We'll place these two. And we'll have our oh, three merry water pump buzzers there. And I do believe that's all the spaces where we can get too deep without going down here. Now, we'll path our list up. We'll get a path that conveniently lines up with a bloody stair there. We'll start going across and doon. Just like that. And then we want to start coming across this way. We also have stairs here. So let's get connected in there. And we'll start making our way down here as well. We'll start clearing these trees out. And if we do a back door. We'll go out to here. And along to these stairs. And we'll just continue this path all the way along the edge there. And as well, I want to have a path coming on this end. And up to there. And then probably going up these stairs somewhere. So I think that's a decent little path network there. That'll get us started. Let's think about food now. We're going to get efficient farmhouses, which take three workers each. I want to get one right there at the front of the district centre. And then I'm thinking about where I want to plop the second one here. So I want to pop a second one up here somewhere so I can service this green area with plants. But there's a few too many trees in the way. What we'll do now is move on to the next step, which is lumberjack flags. We plop down a lumberjack flag. And when these are built, they can store 20 logs. And to store more logs, you need to have piles. Not those type of piles, these type of piles. But the issue with that is that takes six logs and some precious building time to do. So we're not doing that just yet. What we're going to do instead is plop doing loads and loads of lumberjack flags doing. Look at all those lumberjack flags. Because what you can do with these is just pause them and have the worker shift to the next one and the next one. For now, we're going to touch on priorities. So priorities work in two ways. You've obviously got your, your priorities here. So we'll get the very high ones out. And what I want to do is cover all of these lumberjack flags that I made to be very high priority. So they get built instantly. Now, if I pop one of these water pump mats and this efficient farmhouse's maximum priority, one of them will get built first. It's the one that I placed first. So if I have all three of these water pump mats maximum priority, this one will get built first then this one, then this one, because that's the order I placed them. But we're going to plop those other two water pumpers down. It's very high priority, not super high priority. And before we resume the game, go into the district centre here and up the workers to four, because you only start with two and you need that precious, precious building time. Right, let's resume. Look at all the beavers bobbing about. Now the beavers will start building the lumberjack flags first. That's purely because they don't have any wood materials to start building this water pump. But as soon as we have beavers chopping these trees down, we'll get the rest of these buildings built. 
But hang on, pause, because I forgot one little thing. I always forget the cut trees. If you don't do this and select cut trees, those beavers would just stand there and dean out. And I would like to show an example of that. However, I tend to forget to, to fix my mistakes. I, I would end up forgetting to put cut trees on altogether if I did that. Now, I am going to contradict myself immediately by being clever and only selecting these trees to be cut down here. And the reason for that is I want to get this path finished so we can start going over here and chopping these trees. And you know what? While we're here, I'd like to get this berry picked immediately. Thank you very much. Because that will allow us to get another water pump run. It's only one berry that needs to get placed. And actually, just to make sure the berry berries don't spread, I'm filling that area with paths. Hang on. I just noticed my mistake. I've been trying to cut the wrong berries. It's these ones. <laughs> hey. Well, isn't that the way? Hey. So, we'll maximum priority these to get cut down. And I'll pop a path there to mark that side off. So berries don't grow there. While the builders don't have anything to do, they'll pick up these berries as well. And as we build these first few lumberjack flags, I'm going to maximum priority all of the lumberjack flags. And there's a nice easy way to do that. If you click your jobs tab at the top left here, it'll bring up your workplaces. And then on the left here, you've got your workplace priority. So you can just go here, make them all top priority. Because we're always going to want to have plenty of lumberjack flags chopping trees. Now you have to be careful with this. Because the way we're going to manage our jobs is by pausing the flags. I want to up the priority of the workers, the beaver builders, to high there. And then we want our water pumps here to be maximum priority as well. Oh, as well as our farm hoose. Now when you look at that, we've got basically all maximum priority jobs. Like I said, we're going to manage these jobs via pausing. Let's resume the game. We need to make sure we have builders so we can continue building. Oh, do you have a look at this? Are we chopping a tree? What is happening here? Oh, you're building that lumberjack flag diagonally. Okay. I was a bit, uh, I was a tad perturbed. Just a tad perturbed at what was going on here, but we're all good. <laughs> all right, we should, yeah, I was going to say we should start losing jobs now because we've got a fair few of these lumberjack flags built. We want this one and we, uh, we don't need any of these working at the moment. So we have one beaver, we're now to D. I suppose if we're going to be super efficient about this, we may as well resume that one. We may as well be chopping some trees doing it. While the beavers are busy chopping trees, I'm going to get an inventor placed. And I'm going to pop that maximum priority for the construction and workplace as well. So once we've built the water pump and the efficient farmhouse, we'll build the inventor. And then we'll move on to the other water pumps. Well, we won't because we're going to do storage. And anywhere close to the water pump as here, I want to have... Oodles and oodles of smallware of tanks. I also want to leave room here. See, I don't want to build that one because then the farmers can't reach these grass bits here. So I want to leave room for the farmers as well. As well, I'm just going to do that for now. So I know what I need to do. We can get you two paused. And we're going to get you three paused. See, you've got to be on top of the pausing of the jobs. Otherwise you end up with any bloody builders. Oh, bloody hell. We forgot the... Don't forget... A lumberjack fl uh, gatherer flag as well. They're all going to be top priority. Again, managing with pausing. And if we see any of these lumberjack flags start to fill up, like 20 logs and things like that, we pause them and unpause another one. Now, I want to figure out a proper little storage solution. And before I forget as well, I'm going to pop a teeth grindstone dune so when the beavers eventually break their teeth, they can sharpen them back up. I'll have that as a high priority. Oh, we have our water pumper in. I want a highest priority at least one tank across the way and then up the priority of these ones around it so they get built nice and quick there we're gone if that's built it means they're going to be building this lovely and that means we're going to have to get ready to plant some crops let's get carrots planted i'm only focusing on carrots as it stands and we're going to be planting carrots pretty much everywhere we can <laughs> any green ground that our beavers can plant some carrots on we want carrots there. Ah, uh, just before the sun sets. One thing I like to do is up my working hours to 18. Just squeezes out that little bit more efficiency with the beavers. And they still tend to do everything they need to do as well. As the sun sets and we get this moody atmosphere, let me tell you about this map's secret little quirk. It's unique feature. The crimson worm side of this valley has one, two, there's another one, three, and there's even more, four, five. 
bad what ass horses. And there's only one little slit of an exit here for her to get out. And this, you spoiler alert, is not big enough for all of this bad water to escape. Bad water does eventually over top the scrap, that little curve there. And if we zoom in, that little pillar that's poking out there. So we're going to have to do something within these first six cycles to stop that from happening. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, we got the four bars in. Right, 24. Work day. Go, 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 go. Right. I'm, I will make liberal use of the working hours. In hard mode, especially with the risky strats that we are going to play on this map, you need to get your food in as quick as possible because it takes four days to grow. And those four days, they could be the difference between all your beavers dying and all your beavers aliving. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Building lacks work, guys. Is that the bit? I knew it. Right, what can we pause? What can we pause? What's, what's being built? Oh, it's because these take three workers. That's right. So we're going to have to calm down on our wood chopping for the moment. Luckily, we have 16 logs and we only need 11 more to build this. But we'll leave this one cracking along here because these oaks are worth eight a pop. And the more oaks we clear from down here, the more carrots we get planted. We've got our three farmers. They're going to be working overnight to get as many carrots planted as possible. There you've done a canny job there, beavers. You can see we're already 6%. That's 6% we would have not have got if we had have clocked off for 18 hours. So we'll go back to 18 hours so beavers can sleep tonight. Oh, we've got our beaver chopping our last tree here. That means we can come in. We can go, not plant crops, we can go cut trees and cut all these trees, yeah, mate. Get them all cut down. Every single one of them. We have an inventor as well, lovely. We are going to need those science points big time. Because like I say, we are risky stratting it here. We're not just risky stratting it, we're cheesy stratting it. Let me introduce you to a bit of miggly cheese. What we're going to do is go into our storage here. Yeah, you're thinking, Miggly, you've already built your storage area. No, no, no. We want our handy dandy, trusty dusty, small warehouse. And what we're going to do is come straight across here. And we're going to stack small warehouses all the way across. And make ourselves a wee bridge here. Would you look at that? Now we can get across and harvest these blueberries here. And chop doing these glorious oaks. Let's continue this path and figure out the best place to pop a bridge. Hey, that looks like a nice convenient place to pop a bridge here, doesn't it? Let's whip out our bridge building materials. And then from here, we're gonna go up and down, and then maybe, maybe with a bit, so I can pop loads of lumberjack flags on. Now, as well, I do wanna gain some access over here. If we continue this path along here, we whip out our handy dandy small warehouses. We start building our bridge across, and then we can continue our path along. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Let's crack on with that. How many of these do we have? Two builders? That'll have to do for now. Because we only have two bloody logs, you know. What we can do though, before I forget, connect these paths. Let's do speed three while this uh, gets picked up. There we go. And then we'll be ready to pause these when they're built. Oh, we have a worker in here as well. Lovely. Ooh, I didn't even select the storage on here. Actually, that does bring me on. It is a tad annoying clicking all of these to do what our storage. What you can do. Just hold down tab and it brings up your storage menu here and you can just click away. If you have a lot to do like I do around the corner here, it might be easier to just click this button, show storage overlay and it keeps it on for you. So let's get these assigned, shall we? There we go, all assigned. We'll click that to turn that off. We've got any builders? That's right. I was all being like, I'll get ready to pause this and just didn't. <laughs> Classic Miggly manoeuvre, eh? They got one minded cheeky little uh, E now I want there, you know what I mean? Let's crack on with our one builder. Get on, Yorgnis. Build everything you can. We've got the farmers farming. The water pumper. Pumping away. The berry harvester. Harvesting the berries. What more could you ask for, you know? Alright, pause you. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, damn it. No! I was being too efficient for my own good. You know what? Delete that. I deserve it. I deserve it. Oh, we have a beaver growing up as well. That means we have an extra workplace. But we still don't have many workers. Oh, that's right. This is being built. Hang on. I was going to say you can be paused. However, I believe... No, oh, you only ate storage. Why are you sitting on your arse, mate? I'm pausing you. And you better get up and do something. Get up and do something. Now that we have this path in here... Let me... Hang on. Why are you sitting on your arse? 20 out of 20. Perfect. Pause and resume. 
Now you, mate, you go from that lumberjack flag to that lumberjack flag and continue chopping those trees, dude. As I was saying, now that we have this area connected, I'm going to build a little hose in the state for me beavers here. I may have placed that uh, lumberjack flag in a slightly inconvenient place, but there's our, there's our hose in the state in, ready to get built when I'm ready to build it. Let's have a look at our priorities here. I think I want to upgrade the priority of some water storage, because a drought is inevitable. Let's just say that. I want all of this water storage here built. Oh, pause, pause, pause. I just saw that the builders have picked up these berries. Let's get the big water pumper in. Plop. Lovely job there. You know what? Instead of a path blocker, let me pop doing a water storage blocker. Right, so we're going to get those lovely little water tanks built. I would like to get this water pumper built as well. And I reckon that'll do for now. How are we doing here? I think I can bring the workers down to one on here because there's only this little corner to do that's it within its range all of this over here they're not going to get this planted because it's all dry ground it's not fertile and that should give us three builders there why are you so all passed out types oh, oh the, 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 i just why is all passed out forgot about the 24 hour work there anyway you sleep along with these beavers and i'll catch you in the morning ah good morning beavers how did your sleep treat you? Well, I assume. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this beaver here. Once they've finished planting this corner, we'll get them paused. We also want to change their priority to harvesting. That's going to be very important in about 2.5 days time. Uh, we need to pause you. Gather our flag. There we go. we got four builders. Let's go. We're going to be a building fury. You know what? I want to pick these up. I can make better use of that space. Let's do a little bit of uh, future planning here. We're going to do a little inventor farm all the way down here, just like that. Let's just uh, go maximum on that one, medium, medium, high on the rest here. And then what I'm going to want to do as well is get these two in. So that'll be one berries, one carrots. And that's important because, oh, ho, ho, are you going to prove me points? 20 out of 20. Let's shift your job around. But that means we only have 60 berry storage here. And we ideally want more. We need to get the berries off the plants as quick as possible because when they're sitting at 100 percent they're doing nothing they're not resetting this cell 12 day cycle you know got some more water storage in lovely what i may do because we're not quite filling up the rest of the water storage reduce the priority on these ones so we get this tank built yeah, i'm going to reduce these two warehouses as well just to ensure that this water pumper gets built yeah you're picking that berry lovely yeah we're gonna have this water pumper built in the time there it is it's in All right now we can maximum priority that one that one and that one and there each of you get two i think that's uh that's fair actually let's not do that let's see which ones they were building first so we'll do that so we don't waste 11 logs and you weren't building any other ones were you no perfect planted this corner in you certainly have get paused and up this workplace to three don't forget to do that we're gonna want all three now the second farmhouse we need to get this built as soon as possible and i i want it here so let's clear this area here. We're going to have to remove this small tree. We're going to cut trees here and we remove cutting all these trees. I'm going to have to remember to click this back on in the future. And then we chop these three trees. Unpause one of ye lumberjack flags. Oh, you got 20 in storage? Nah. Oh well. We'll just have to not have a fourth builder then. You chop those trees doing. And then we need a maximum priority of this pine getting picked. There we go. And then this tree should get chopped first thing in the morning. And we can place doing the old efficient farm hoose. Blop. Harvesting. And maximum priority on both. Like I say, we want this built as soon as possible. How are you doing? Sitting on your ass doing now because you've got no berries to pick. Get paused. We could use another build up. Oh, actually, is that leaving us for the beaver doing now? In that case, resume that lumberjack flag as well. Actually, no. Let me resume this lumberjack flag here. And then it'll get these oaks, which is worth more. I'm just going to come in with a carrot plant in here. And just cover up any of these stumps. Otherwise, these oaks might spread. And then you won't be able to plant carrots. You have to wait another 30 days for them to grow up. And not to forget, we need to turn back on cutting trees for this area. And as well, while we're here, we may as well turn on cutting trees. For all the areas we're about to visit. Right, let's crack on, shall we? I'm just going to unpause some lumberjack flags here. So we only have two builders. Just because we only have four wood, so we can't do much building anyway. So having four builders would be a bit wasteful. Alright, now I'm starting to get a bit stressed about water. So 
I'm going to up the priority of these berries getting pulled up here. Oh, actually, I just noticed I can pop a water pumper in already. Let's do that. Maximum priority. Now, should I do that now? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that before building the efficient farmhouse there. So what are our priorities here? Lower that one. Lower that one. Yep. Our only maximum priority here is that water pumper. What I might do for some lumberjack flags so you can have four builders on the go and that'll get that built even quicker. Look at them picking the rest of the berries. Now let's pause the game because we can go ahead and pop another water pumper in. Just like that. There we're gone. So we'll get you maximum priority in the workplace and the queue at the building order. And then we'll watch you get built. Can we get it built before sundown? Why I we can. Why I? That's what 18 hour work days does for you. Quickly. Maximum priority. Maximum priority, maximum priority. And it's just going to be a free for all on those three. Go for it. We have 40 logs. I'm going to have to pause a lumberjack flag. You get paused. And I'm going to pause the furthest away water pumper as well. And I'm also going to pause the construction of these two water pumpers. So we don't lose any materials. Because ideally I don't want to build them. Because they aren't using the full straws. And I'd just rather not. We already have four that we use the full two depth here. That's a decent amount for now. For now. Actually, speaking of, let's do a bit of future building here. We're going to put a water pumper in here and a water pumper there as well. What we'll do is we'll just pop three little paths on there so that no trees grow there. And then we'll know that we'll put another water pumper in. But we'll have that low priority in the construction. We don't want that built. Not yet. The reason being, the water straw doesn't even bloody reach yet, so... You know, what's the point? Just remember to keep topping up the old carrot planting here. Any trees that get chopped down, get them replaced with carrots. Go on, clock off beavers. These have earned a nice night off. Oh, you got 20. Get paused. Ah, there's the drought. You know what? That's not too bad. The earliest I could have shown up was the start of day four. So I got a bonus day. That's the way I see it. Isn't that Reap Beavers? We got a bonus day. Oh, you're building the berry hoot. And then you can build the carrot hoot. Speaking of, yeah, I saw a few berries growing in there. I'm not, I'm just going to leave them for now because I want to get this stuff built. How are we coming along with the carrots here? The carrots will be coming along. Building the carrot warehouse. That'll be up in knee time. You reckon you got the last log? Or has your mate got the last log? Your mate's got the last log. Straight in, knee bother. And then we're going to do the inventor hoot. And then after that, we're going to do the old efficient farm who's here look at them they're already on it wonderful now we have two inventors on the go that's how i like it and we're about full on water storage we need to get the farm who's built let's go on beavers get it built get it built do i see the last log coming hour oh the last trio of logs go on you must be the last one waving them hands about tying the knots there it is now let's quickly pause this we don't need the workers just yet Perfect, get a bloody carrot planted there when the time comes. For the sake of jobs, uh, I'm going to pause this water pump. Oh yeah, get another lumberjack flag on the go. We need to get more wood on. What I'm going to do, up the priority of all this water storage here. And then once we have a lot more storage than water, we'll start pumping water. But until then, I'm going to make as much use as I can out of builders and lumberjack flags. Because in 8% time, there's going to be none of that. Because I'm about to unleash 6 beaver jobs on picking up carrots as fast as beaverly possible. And as well, I'm going to maximum priority this bridge. And high priority that bridge. We want to get those built pretty early on in the, uh, in the next drought. Well, as the sun rises, the carrots are coming in. I'm going to unleash these three as well. We want these carrots picked up straight away. Picked up and stored. And there we go, no builders. <laughs> we may as well have to pause some lumberjack flags so we can continue building to some extent. And we got all six workers in here. Yep. We can pause an inventor. Just one inventor, not two. So we have all six workers. If I pause another lumberjack flag, we're going to get a builder. Perfect. Now I'm going to change this from berry storage over to carrot storage so we can ensure that we cut, pick up all the carrots and we don't start running out of storage. I also think it's time to build some hoses and get some bobbies on the gun. Well done, building that little tank. So at this point, you may be thinking, Migley, you're claiming to be some sort of decent player who can play hard mode on a hard map, deed efficiently and whatnot. Yet you have near built a dam. And to that I say, yeah, you're right. 
I have near built the dam, mate. The reason being is, to make any sort of useful dam here, you need a triple floodgate. If you notice me little snaky path here, I am going to pop a dam in here, you know, somewhere. I'm not sure where yet, but you know, somewhere around here-ish, you know, but not yet, because I don't have enough sky and points. And as well, for this map in particular, like putting levees down and doing fancy little dams, it doesn't really work. It's too deep, it's too multifaceted. And as well, we've got these two blocks of water sources here, that when a bad tide comes, just rush out bad water, that would just pollute your whole reservoir anyway. So I don't see a point in putting a dam up here until we have a working bad water repulsion system. So you're gonna see that first. You're gonna see a bad water repulsion system before you see any damage. Oh, a, someone just grew up. But yeah, I just noticed while I was looking through the jobs that we got a second bloody builder in there. I'm seeing if there's anyone we can pause here, but I don't think there is. There's definitely no one we can pause. And it looks like we are slipping up water faster than we're slurping a doot. So that is grand. And we are picking up the carrots. That's what I like to see. This is what I like to see. I like to see all the carrots up in storage. Lovely job there. Here we are, the last day of the first temperate season. I think this point is probably a good time to explain me strategy. Me risky strat. Because it is a risky strat. As you can see, we're having to pause things to make sure we don't get out of hand. We're using multiple objects instead of a large pile, a warehouse and things like that, where we can. And we have no dam situation. We have some wonderfully cheesy bridges, of course, but no dams, no reservoir. When this drought hits, everything will dry up including our carrots and our water supply so what i'm going to do is unpause you water pump pause you lumberjack flag i'm going to put unpause you water pump and just have one builder actually there's no point having a builder is there unpause you start cutting trees knee builder because there's only one log anyway because we need to store everything before a drought hits or a bad tide hits because we can do nothing to keep our beavers alive other than eat stored food and drink stored water during droughts and bad tides. So it's a very, very risky strat. These poor beavers here, they need to pick up every carrot they can and slurp up every molecule of H2O that they can. Otherwise, they're simply gonna dehydrate or starve. And nobody wants that, least of all me. But you know, you've gotta risk it for a biscuit, as they say. And that's exactly what I'm doing it. I'm risking it for a le biscuit. And when we get through this episode and you see how the rest of the series goes on, you'll be like, damn, Migley, that start really set you up for success. And that's what it's all about. Setting your beaver colony up for success in the late game. Even if you do have to be a bit risky in the early game. But just have faith and the beavers will provide. There are a few leg ends out there. We witnessed that last time, didn't we, mate? And they will prevail. I'm just keeping an eye on these water tanks here to see if I need to jump up to a 24-hour workday. <laughs> but we seem to be doing all right. We're filling up nicely. Oh, we're already starting to drain as the water sources diminish their flow for the last half a day towards the drought. And you can see this is why I didn't actually want to build these if I can, because they're useless, basically, when it counts. And as well, you can see these carrots that are drying up here now. That's why we have six beavers diligently pulling up every carrot they can. Without any haste whatsoever. With haste. With all of the haste. Uh, I think we can clock off after 18 hours here. I think we've got a water pump. We've got a delivery incoming. That should be seven water. Yep, up to 21. And what I might do is let them clock off and then get them to clock on again a bit later on. You know what, actually, clock off now. Clock off at 16 hours, and then start drinking the water, start eating the food. Some of you just have a bit of a kip. You know, relax, rest. Because I'm about to go 24 hour work day quick! We are working 24 hours until all the carrots are picked up. Ah ha ha, you thought I was being nice, I wasn't. I was getting you ready for this five day drought. It's about to ravage our little colony here. Although it won't, I reckon we'll breeze right past it. It'll be a proper night to matter of fair as everything dries up. <sighs> well, at least we don't need one, two, three, four jobs. You know what that leaves us with? Four builders. There we go. Now start building things. Now, actually, 
don't bother building these water storages at all like during this drought there's no need for it i'd rather you get the bridge in to be quite honest the bridge and the hoses get those in now what i want to do is uncause a gatherer flag here there we go so they can start picking up these berries here during this drought and then when the temperate season kicks in the cycle can reboot farmers you've got 1.3 days to pick up all these carrots get them picked up oh we're starting to get the bridge in lovely jubbly and you want to keep an eye on these because this is six jobs that can go to bloody use elsewhere speaking of i may as well get those jobs ready to go we need some of those uh, inventors built with a quickness uh, yeah, 24 hour work day we need those carrots picked up didn't let them dry out didn't let them dry out we have a bit more time on these ones didn't do these ones can do these ones we are doing work on the bridge here as well you can see the hoses getting built in the background the beavers picking up the remaining carrots my heart just dropped i just saw all of those water thirsty beaver things appear at once <laughs> And I was like, why don't we have any water? But we do, we got 303 water there. How close are you to being done? Just a couple left over there. Go on, beavers. Pick up those remaining carrots so I can pause these. Come on, they're, they're drying out. Pick them up, pick them up. All right, once these two are picked up, pausing it. Pause. That's three jobs. Let's go. I want an inventor. And I think we're still going to have a job. Ah, and that's the perfect amount of jobs there. Oh, effect. Now we don't have any wood, so we want to unpause a couple of lumberjack flags here. Honestly, just unpause all of those. We can just have one or two builders, that's fine. We don't have any wood to build with anyway. Do you mind uh, picking up some of these carrots up here, please, beavers? You know what? These are clearly just passed out anyway, so <laughs> back to 80 now our work days. I'll see you in the morning, beeps. Oh, you've got 20 out of 20, so get paused. You get resumed. Are there any berries to pick? Why, well, aye, they are. Get them picked. And then soon we'll be over here picking these berries. One hoose to gand and then we'll have hooses for all the beavers. And that's all the carrots picked up. I can see old mate. Oh no, we still got one carrot there. Go on, quick, someone pick it up. Oh, okay, get paused. That's three more jobs. That means we can unpause. Well, we can get you happening. We can unpause you. And then we still have three builders and we're just going to start racking up the wood here. Any of these that are full, I want to get paused though. So I need to keep an eye on these. You're full enough to where I'm going to do this. Oh, you are also full enough <laughs> to where I'm going to do this. Oh, and we have beavers wanting to crack along our here. Full priority on both of these. Are you full? No, oh, but I believe there's no berries for you to pick. Perfect. And we'll maximum priority well, all of these when I'm going to pause some. There we go. And we still have two builders knocking about there. And we're going to be chopping, doing loads of wood. Just changing all these to heads, the ones I've placed, so it doesn't flash red and yellow. Hopefully that's a bit less annoying for everybody. Well, here we are the last day of a drought i've just been spending this time checking when these get full like that one was at 12 that one's at 20 and pausing them so we're not wasting workers these two are full as well actually do we need to pause you oh we will do very soon let's let that get up to 20 and then pause them there we go. pause you there then my get jogwin there get on the same tree and then you're probably at 20 as well aren't you yeah We've got a couple of full berries over here. So what I'm going to do is place a couple more dune. Two more gatherer flags. And I may as well pop another lumberjack flag dune. Maximum priority those. And then we have three builders on the gun. And what I might do is just pause a lumberjack flag. Because what I want to do is get these houses built with a quickness. I want to start getting beavers reproducing. I should have done this a couple of days to be quite honest with you. Especially if you're seeing you're going to make it through the drought easily. You should do it as quick as possible get more workers so i'm going to do those two as well oh looks like we've built a lot of science huts <laughs> that's where our jobs have been disappearing off to eh? well these as well i suppose <laughs> i don't need all of these working oh my god three builders let me get this built with a quickness just because i noticed that we have that tree chopped down lovely and i'm gonna to have to spend some science points but i'm gonna do that in the next cycle speaking of once we clock off we're gonna shift jobs around a bit let's do that I'll do it in the daytime so you can see. There we go. Just before the beavers clock on, we're going to pause all but one of these inventors because we're going to need the jobs. Namely, if we start up here, I want to unpause these two water pumpers. And I think for now, we're just going to see where that lands us job wise. Two beavers not knowing what to do. Lovely. Let's get you three. We're going to leave it on harvesting and we're going to unpause all of our water and all of our food. Let's go. And you'll be able to see the water starts rushing it. Now, before we get too far, 
it's okay to save the game. So this is Leviaville cycle one, save. And if things go tits up in the future, I can click load game and load from cycle one. You can choose to save just before, you know, each drought or bad tide as well, because three or four auto saves, sometimes you need to go back more than half an hour, you know, it's a one of them. Sometimes the mistake you made was three cycles ago. <laughs> and you didn't notice it until it was far, far too late.